This backrooms level is being destroyed by its own weather, and it also seems to be an exact copy of Earth. Let's get into the explanation. Backrooms level 207 starts out with several logs that sort of give us some backstory on the discovery of the level. The log starts at 1.38 p.m. and it reads as follows. Ah, here we go. They say it's some sort of fancy, luxurious restaurant complex. However, to get there, I have to go to level 86, which means I shouldn't be too far from here, end quote. Then a few minutes later at 2.12, that same person starts speaking again. All right, Malcolm speaking. I'm currently in the level and it doesn't look right. Meg operative. You still have us. You said that it doesn't look right, correct? Malcolm. Yeah, so, uh, it's supposed to be modern and fancy, right? I'm in some sort of house, a bedroom to be exact, but it looks like a tornado came through it. Literally. There's debris everywhere, and the walls and the ceiling are torn apart. End quote. So yeah, just by this log, you can tell that something bad happened to this level, and it made it change from what Meg originally thought it was. After this, the level is given a new classification of Class 5E, environmental, and is unsafe and unsecure, because it's got tornadoes tornadoes everywhere. Of course it's gonna be dangerous. The level is thought to be an infinite, non-Euclidean expanse of debris and rubble. And the layout is almost exactly like the mainland United States, which is weird to say the least, because this is the first level that actually looks just like the USA. It's also claimed that everyone who gets sent to this level ends up in the state that they lived in. And if they never lived in the USA or they're not from here, they'll simply just be teleported to a random one. The level does have a day and night cycle and it seems to work with real life time zones as well and it's pretty much exactly just how time works in real life. The level's buildings and cities and layouts are all similar to the real life versions except obviously they've been destroyed to some extent from natural disasters. The landscape itself is also very non-Euclidean and the ground can be very volatile and glitchy so if you see some ground glitching don't touch it and don't go near it. There might also be some strange buildings here that seem to be added and are kind out of place and these are thought to be based on wanderers memories from the people that have been here there's been entire towns and houses from people's childhood memories on this level just appear in random spots one example is that someone saw their childhood home in the middle of an airplane runway so another example might be you see your elementary school in the middle of the woods or something like that it's unknown how this level knows the childhood memories of wanderers who have been here or why it manifests some of them into real things, but it's creepy to say the least. The roads that connect this level together are mainly broken and cracked, and you should avoid them at all costs, because sometimes huge sinkholes can form or pieces of rubble can pop out of the road like big rocky spikes and hit you. There's also abandoned cars on the roads, but none of that stuff that I just said is interesting. What is interesting, though, are the disasters that happen on this level. Things like tornadoes, thunderstorms, windstorms, dust storms, firestorms, and pretty much any other storm you could think of happens here. I'll get into each type of the disasters in a second, but for now, I want to talk about the air quality of the level. And the air quality is not good. Lots of the air is filled with smoke from fires and debris and that kind of thing, but the smoke from these fires is not actually real smoke. It's thought to be some kind of radioactive substance that can be very bad for you. I can't talk about the actual symptoms because YouTube would probably demonetize me, but you get the idea. It's dangerous. The sky of the level is usually cloudy and pale looking, and it always looks like it's about to rain. The temperature changes depending on where you go in the level, but it always seems to be blustery and windy. So due to all this gloomy stuff, a person who comes here might have feelings of sadness and loneliness. These are common here, so watch out for that and don't let it get to you. There's also a sad feeling you could get by seeing your entire town or house or city in ruins. Even though it's a backrooms level, it'll still feel real because it looks just like the real life counterpart. You get the kind of post-apocalyptic survival type of feeling for being here. So explore it at your own risk. Speaking of exploring at your own risk, the sound and noises of this level are weird. You can hear things like wind and entities and internal noises from your body, like your breathing and your heartbeat, but you can't hear things outside of you, like footsteps or debris that's flying towards you in the air or on the ground. And because you can't hear that stuff, you always need to be looking around so you don't get whacked in the head by something. So now I'm going to explain the different types of disasters that happen here, and these disasters can appear at any time, or happen at the same time, or separately, it just depends on where you're at. 
The first type is falling debris, which is the most common in rural and urban areas because there are more buildings there. And it happens when strong winds pick up something from the ground and throw it up really high in the air, and then it'll all fall back down in a short period of time. Pretty much, it's just a big windstorm that lasts from 3 to 10 minutes. Then there are tornadoes, which last a little bit longer. These are pretty common throughout the entire level, and they can be huge or small, but they're all dangerous. Some of the tornadoes can pick up houses and structures and throw them up in the air and into the wind, and they can land near you or on you. These tornadoes also mix up all the debris on the ground, so it makes traveling a little bit harder. Pretty much, they're just huge tornadoes that last longer than real life ones. The next one is thunderstorms, which are just thunderstorms. But during these, there's also huge lightning strikes and lightning balls that come from the sky. These are very dangerous because all the buildings around you are probably going to be flat, which means that you're at risk for being struck by lightning. These storms are also extremely loud with their thunder and lightning, so it's pretty much just terrifying. The last two disasters are volcanoes and heat waves. Volcanoes can just pop up and explode thousands of tons of magma and fire into the air at random spots, which is weird because America has very few volcanoes that are active and very few places that can even have a volcano, but they can pop up here anywhere. Heat waves are next, and they're pretty much wildfires that can whip up, and they are by far the most destructive disasters here. They engulf everything into flames, and they can make entire towns disappear to ashes. The worst combination of storms can be the windstorm and then the wild heat waves, because those together can wipe out entire sections of the level. As far as entities go here, there's only been a few of them, but they are really strange. And the entities themselves are the wildlife that live here, and they're pretty much just mutilated and deformed animals from real life like pigs and cows and deer and stuff, and they're mutilated because they're all mixed together, and they look just like a big combination of animals. They drag themselves around and try to crawl everywhere, and they just look really weird. There's also entities that hide in the broken buildings and trash, called litterlings, and they can camouflage themselves as materials and are pretty dangerous. Check the link below if you want to see the full details about them. They're pretty creepy. To enter this level, you can noclip through a debris pile on, on other levels, and to exit, you can walk around 50 miles from where you spawn in, and you can find a sign that says, Welcome to New York, noclip into it, and you'll be sent to level 11. But yeah, to summarize this level, it's literally just a one-to-one -one copy of the United States, except there's always these huge disasters happening that can destroy everything. Pretty creepy. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love and appreciate all of you, and I hope your day is going fantastic, and I will see you all in the next video.